Today I'm working on a vacuum cleaner as this vacuum cleaner. This is for the floor uh, vacuum cleaning and this went bad during its function. It's not working. I will go to show you how to troubleshoot it, how to repair it and then at the end how to repair it. This will be a step by step video how to use tools like multimeter for troubleshooting and how to dismantle this device, this equipment and each and every detail I will show. I will try to cover in this video. As here with me you see the Sonio 1300 watt vacuum cleaner which is used to vacuum clean the carpets and floors. So this we are going to repair it as uh, this went bad. I am going to show you how it went bad. Now as you can see the switch is on the on position. Here is the on position and here is the off. It is not showing there is some color drop over there and uh, this is now on the on position. And I am going to electrify it using its cord plug. I am going to put it in the electricity over here. But as you can see the thing is not switching on. See like this. This is dead. So we are going to make it repair. For this purpose first I have to disconnect it from the mains like this to make things safe. And then what I have to do is I have to open it from here this latch and the other latch also so that I will be able to remove this unit this motor unit from the drum the drum assembly I have to put it side because we don't need it for the repair repair we will make on the motor and uh, the suction unit which is over here of course and we will do tr troubleshooting on this step by step I am showing here a few tools you need one multimeter of course to test the power and uh, a screwdriver which is uh, both flat and uh, Phillips and a nose plier or plier. So for this purpose we are going to open it. We first we will remove this mesh or grill or whatsoever you can say. There are maybe two screws. Yeah two screws are there though they are Phillips. So Phillips screwdriver we are going to open them. I need a little bit smaller screwdriver for this purpose. So here is my smaller screwdriver. I'm going to open both of these screws. This screwdriver is grabbing them well. So by this way I open one and of course the second one I'm going to open. So I remove this one also and by this way this mesh will come off. like this and put these things side. Now is the time to remove these three four screws. One over here, second, third and fourth. So these four screws I am going to open. I just opened all four screws. Now I am able to remove this motor from this cover. I am going to open it for this purpose. I am using a, a flat screwdriver to make, to, to make space in the covers. So I, first I will make a mark so that it will ease for the fitting. In the end it will give me easy fitting because I will match these holes and the thing will come to fix all together easily. So by this way I just make space in the two halves and by this way it will come off but for this purpose it is necessary that I have to lose all the screws well because this is plastic bodies actually and uh, it needs well loose screws something like this. I will drop down I will put them side So by this way, as you can see, both hubs opened and here is the power connections you can see. These are the power connections which are coming by from the cord as the cord I can see the cable is over here and these two, these two terminals they are the connections. So the very first step is we have to check it over here and then we will proceed towards the motor. 
So step by step I am going to check this unit. So for this purpose, first I will have to plug it on in the electricity. Then I will check for the power over there with the help of multimeter. So now the power is on, mean the unit is electrified. So over here I am putting my multimeter so that to show you. On the voltage scale I have to select of course the AC. AC I will select it from here. As now you can see this is a volt and voltmeter selected for AC voltage. I have to grab camera by some way to show you the testing. It's difficult enough one hand. So now you can see meter is set to voltage and over here on these two terminals these two connectors I'm going to check for power and I'm getting 230 volt or 223 volt power so power is coming to the unit now we will proceed further and the switch the unit is switched on so we will take care So here as you can see on the motor I will check here are the two terminals I can see one is over here the second one is there so here I will check for power what I am getting that's important even I am getting I am checking volt voltages so for with the voltmeter there is no harm to the unit if we are going to check voltage normally it is not harming the unit so by care we are going to check it something like this and I am getting nothing no voltage over here so there is some problem we will trace for as here I am going to see this cable you can see this cable is there it's coming over here from the power cord to here and then going back towards the unit inside as you can see over here and if I will see for this cable as this is a true core cable over here inside you can see one is connected over here this white one to the brush and uh, the other cable if I will look at I just found it bare as you can see here this is not connected anywhere this is not normally the case actually this is going to the motor so it should be connected somewhere this is going to the inside the armage the field field of the motor which is located over here of course so this one should be connected somewhere and what I am thinking from my experience this should be connected to this one and by some vibration it come off so we will connect this to this and then we'll test for the unit whether it's working or not if it is not working we will test further but maybe if we will connect it we will save ourselves from further testing and the unit will come to life as here you can see what I am doubting is this cable I am removing this tape from so this cable has a rounded shape which is telling that that cable has been twisted on I am going to show you the close up as this cable has a rounded shape and what it is telling is this had been twisted on the same one like this and there is a stress of course as you can see there is a stress in two covers so that stress had put some stress on the cable and uh, again this had been come off due to vibration as this machine while it is running it is producing vibration so that's why this come off so what we are going to do is we are going to make a successful repair and a durable repair on this machine so for this purpose we are not going to twist these wires as they had been like this but instead we are going to use this a PVC connector you can see it's a plastic connector which had two screws in and there is a metal part inside here here is a metal part the golden part you can see this is the brass part and these two screws are holding this part inside this plastic and while we will put cable from here and other cable from there this will hold both cable and securely hold and that that jointing will be perfect so what we are going to do is we are cutting one of the one of the piece from it as it had been dropped inside I'm going to locate 
here it is so what we are going to do is we are we just cut it and we will use this single one to grab these two cables or three cables all together so for this purpose I am going to make these cables straight because there is a hole and it will need straight cable to go in and also I am cutting little bit because this big cable will not enter in or it will not be entered securely so I will cut a little bit of the cable from and then twist it together both wires because this is important that these two wires should go all together and that will be combined with this third wire using my small screwdriver I am going to loosen up these two hose screws so I am loosening both of these screws but not that much that they will come and that piece will drop not like that instead they should be secured in position but they should be opened so by this way I am going to put it this cable in up to its insulation so that the insulation should come up to here not it should not be grabbed by this screw instead the BR conductor should be grabbed by this screw this is important because sometimes people are just putting and they are grabbing the insulation in and the internal connection is not making so the device is not working by this way we are going to make it repair instead we are not producing a new fault so the other cable also I have to put it in from the downside which is the orange cable of course and secure it by tightening its screw I should tight it perfectly there should be no loose connection because electrical is not bearing loose connections so now here you can see this had been tightened I am going to show you the close up as you can see this had been secured now and tightened both the screws and this these cables all three cables are connected perfectly to each other and hope they will not come off once again as they had they had been so by this way I am going to make the assembly and then we will test the device let's test the machine so as I put a mark over here you see so this mark mark to mark I will match and this thing will fix very easily by this way it fixed and now I am going to put all four screws to make this thing fix back as it was and using my screwdriver I am going to secure all four screws I have tightened them all and tighten them, tighten them well because this thing is creating vibration so they should be tightened well otherwise they will come off and will create new problems which I don't want to be so by this way all four screws tighten now is the time to fix this mesh it is held by two screws so I'm going to put all two screws, both two, and tighten them to the frame. So now it's tight, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it for function. So I will switch it off and put the power on the cord in the power means, and then switch on the machine. So as you listen to the sound and felt the vibration so this is what was the repair on this particular vacuum cleaner 
thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe like i will bring other videos also same repair and that will be informative for you sure they will help you